Ray Brewer is also keeping an eye on the road conditions for us this morning. He joins us. He is live along I-89 in Springfield. And, Ray, we are seeing temperatures right about the freezing mark. So people really do have to take it easy out there, don't they? They do, Aaron, and it's right around that freezing mark here in Springfield as well. Take a live look here at 89, and you can see that the traffic is moving here, but you also may be able to see in the uh, travel lane there, I realize it's tough for the camera to pick it up, there is some slush there, and those are the conditions you're going to find out on the highways as well. Uh, the Officially, the speed hasn't been dropped down to 45 miles per hour, but you will be hard pressed to do that speed in some of the highways. Uh, we found uh, the plows have been out, as Suzanne mentioned, but still there is that slush. And that's also true, especially on the back roads as well. We have some video that was shot at Route 103 in downtown uh, Warren there, and you can see that the roads are also uh, slush covered as well. If there is a good side to this storm, it's happening that we. We did have advance notice. Unlike a couple of weeks ago, you may recall when all those black ice conditions, especially in the Concord area, caught us by surprise. We did know that this storm was coming, so people could make the plans. And obviously, with more than 200 school delays or closing, people are taking this very seriously. Reporting live in Springfield, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.